Three-time Jiu-Jitsu national champion and first-time world champion Noah Anderson is not slowing down after winning two weeks ago in Las Vegas. Our Logan Gay went and talked to the title holder about his impressive career. Nowhere else in the Brainerd Lakes area can you train with a world champion. Well, if you don't know, now you know that the Jiu-Jitsu world champion Noah Anderson is actually a resident in Baxter and trains at the Ultimate Martial Arts Gym. Anderson recently won his newest world champion title at a competition in Las Vegas. I podiumed, so then I signed up for the absolute division, which is any weight. It's absolute. So I came back 30 minutes later, and I ended up winning the absolute division and becoming three times national champion. Anderson, who is currently 17 years old, started his jiu-jitsu training when he was only in the fifth grade after being bullied at school. I got pushed into the lockers. And I was really scared because I saw a whole bunch of kids getting beat up, and I didn't want to get beat up. And after that, the rest is history. The confidence and the skills that Anderson received from jujitsu changed his life. It teaches you discipline and self-control. And if I was in the same situation today, pushing to a locker, I would just walk away. And Noah actually credits his Minnesota upbringing for his advantage over his other competitors. Being from Minnesota, I'm a lot more like mentally tough than these other kids from California. Like, they do weight training and I lift hay bales. Even his instructors are amazed with his transformation and his drive for the sport. He's changed a lot with his attitude. He's very um, proud and humble and uh, uh, go-getter and hungry uh, to win championships. So it's a lot of fun working with Noah. Anderson plans to open his own gym in the Brainerd Lakes area in the distant future. And Baxter, Logan Gay, Lakeland News. Noah will be competing for another world title in November. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.